Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Robert Rodriguez Planet Terror Grindhouse. This is Cherry, played by Rose McGowan from the film Grindhouse. This was actually sent to me, but was very lucky to get this from a viewer who said, hey, you know what, I don't think I've seen Spot review this, let's send it his way. Well, it did come my way, and thank you very much, sir, for sending this to me. This was a figure that I just never picked up and really wanted to pick up and review. Featured on the front, that real Grindhouse gritty kind of poster uh, back card. Cherry looks like she comes with obviously a display stand and her alternate leg. We'll get into that in a second. On the side, some images, our feature presentation. And on the back, Planet Terror, Rose McGowan as Cherry, Marley Shelton as Dakota, and Quentin Tarantino as Rupist or Rapist Number One. Rapist Number One. So certainly check out more. You can go to NECATOYS.com. What I'm going to do is take a break. I'm going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at Planet Terror Grindhouse Cherry. Here's more heading your way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Included with Cherry, you get yourself a display base, a required piece, as we'll get into that in a second. Nothing really on the display base, just a basic flat black singular peg that you can peg into the underside of Cherry. You also get, of course, your semi-automatic souped up machine gun leg. We'll get into that in a second. Let's first have a look at Cherry. I would say though she's not so much a action figure as she is a statued piece. Uh, sadly, the majority of Cherry is staction. In other words, you can't move most of Cherry. Uh, her arms are, are just a sculpted solid piece. Uh, her waist, her legs, except for really this leg here, Everything on her is statue, it, basically a statued piece. The one bit of articulation that she has is in her head. Is the head good? You know, it's not bad. I don't think it, by comparison to what we get now with NECA, I don't know if I would say it's, it's on par. Roughly, it looks like Rose McGowan. Roughly, it also kind of looks like LaToya Jackson. Latoya Jackson, although I don't think Latoya Jackson really would wear something like this and certainly would not have one missing leg in its place with a machine gun leg. Uh, but face wise, could have been a little bit better, but it's acceptable, I would say. Paint's done pretty good. Face is done well, the paint on the face is pretty good. I think from certain angles, she looks more like Rose McGowan. Like right around there, right around there, she does. Front on, not as much. But she does have articulation in the head. Her head does rotate left and right, uh, up slightly and down. There's probably a ball joint that this head is sitting on, but you're not going to get too much movement out of the head. You can probably get to about there. You could probably rotate it all the way around, but it's on this awkward angle that I would fear if you twist it too much, that kind of angle, you could do some damage. So she does rotate up and down, left and right. Uh, paint on the body as a whole is pretty good. She seems a little more matter in coloring here than she does on the arms and on the uh, the legs. The, tor the tummy area as well is also a little more of a matter color. Uh, paint on the upper top is not bad. Paint on the skirt also isn't that bad. And you'll see a, a section right here in the leg where this leg wants to uh, kind of come loose from itself. And I'll get into that in a second. But I guess to that extent, the leg does rotate. But I mean, you can't really, you know, if you rotate it too much, it just looks awkward anyways. One singular peg hole right on the underside of the foot. Now, I know you would say, well, there is a peg hole here. I would only really use that one for the one reason that the leg is also removable. You can take the leg and just kind of, you don't even really have to use that much force at all to pull it off. 
it is one large peg, which I'm relieved by because I was hating I was hating the idea that this was going to have to come off, and it was on such a small ball joint that this was going to pop and break off. But luckily, it's nice in a large socket. You're not going to worry about this coming off. What you will necessarily do with the other leg, I don't really know. This, you could kind of just have it sitting on your dresser. You could put a nice lampshade on it too and turn it into a lamp also if you wanted to. But then you get something that you get this section, this accessory right here. A really neat. I want to say an M16. Please let that be right. Little grenade launcher. He's got a got a knife on there as well. Paint on the the gun is nice. It's got this aged look to it. It looks definitely field used. It's not something that would have just been pulled out of somewhere. It's definitely not. It does definitely doesn't look like a brand new. Uh, a machine gun to say and then it is rammed into this stump this bandage stump with a similar peg to that of the leg obviously you can put two and two together you will take this leg and find cherry once again who's just fallen on the floor if she has no leg to stand on you could say and just rotate that on and bada bing you've got cherry with her machine gun leg a really neat look it obviously makes no... I don't even know how she would have fired this, being that the trigger is down there, I, unless the... I really got... I have no explanation whatsoever. But she was obviously able to fire this at the undead or the mut mutated people in the movie. Um, it sits on there pretty good. Now, it's got like a little bit of a ledge where it doesn't quite gel, but you can understand it being that this would have been a wrapped up bandage, that that could have justified why this looks like it sticks out a little further than the uh, the end point of the thigh. Um, rotation also you could say in the machine gun as well being only by the way it's pegged into the leg but it can rotate left and right it's really up to you then how you just want to peg how, to, how you want to just display her which then goes back to the idea that with the one singular peg hole you peg it onto the display stand don't certainly lose the display stand, you might want to use it. And just like that, you've got yourself Cherry. It's it's a harder figure to review because it doesn't necessarily have a lot of articulation. I'm surprised, if anything, it didn't have articulation at least in the arms. The arms, you can't move at all, it's just a staction piece. Also, the waist is not a movable piece either. So really, with Cherry, you're buying it more so for a display piece. It suits me just fine because I always thought, thought the design, though ridiculous with how she would ever be able to fire this thing, the design as a whole always worked well for me. And I, I like the look of Cherry with the machine gun leg. Uh, if I could give the Grindhouse, if I could give Grindhouse Planet Terror Cherry a rating, I would think from overall sculpt, Sculpt is not as good as it could have been, but the look overall of the figure with the leg is a nice look and a nice display piece, which is fortunately the only thing that you're going to have her as a display piece. I'm going to give Cherry a 6. Today's toy spot, and certainly once again thank you to the viewer that was nice enough to send this my way. Cherry is definitely going right up on the shelf. In fact, she probably will go up on the shelf in front of the Grindhouse movies. But today we were having a look at the NECA Grindhouse Planet Terror Cherry. Stay tuned guys, Spot's going to have more, Toy Spots, certainly other spots heading your way as well. Thanks for watching, see you next time.